Here are six tips for using a paint edger to help you paint a room in record time. Number one, remove any lint from the refill pad using a lint brush. Number two, when loading paint on, lightly wiggle it into the paint, then blot it good to remove any excess. Number three, make sure you keep the wheels free from paint at all times. Always run the wheels on the dry part of your wall real quick before you begin. This will show you if there's any fresh paint on the wheels. If it's all clean, then you can begin applying paint to your wall. Number four, keep a wet rag handy. If you do happen to get paint on your wheels or the sides of your edger, you can wipe it right off. Number five, work in small sections. The edger will create this line here on the outer edge. You'll want to take care of that right away. Use the edger to do a small section, then switch to your roller so you can spread the paint from that line. I like to have the edger in one hand and my roller in the next so I can quickly go back and forth between edging and spreading the paint to the rest of the wall. Number six, don't use the edger on a wet corner. Use a paintbrush instead to apply paint to the corner, then use the edger and run it along the edge close to the corner, but not all of the way. If the wheels touch the adjacent wet wall, they'll transfer paint onto them and leave tracks in the wall that you just painted. And here's a bonus tip. Don't use too much pressure when applying paint with the edger. Keep it light. And there you go, just keep switching back and forth between the edger and the roller as you work along and you'll have a great finish. Painted the top half of my half bath walls completely in 10 minutes per coat using this method. Drop questions in the comments, like and follow for more DIY.